Okay, my question was, does heat stress affect the meat quality in broilers? Okay, what is heat stress? According to the North Carolina Department of Labor, heat stress is when the body is unable to cool itself. Chickens do not sweat, therefore they have to be cooled um, manually. So heat stress is a negative balance between the heat of amount of energy flowing from the animal's body to its environment and the amount of heat energy produced by the animal. Stress is a nonspecific response to the body to any demand. A stressor is an agent that produces that stress. Therefore, heat would be a stressor. Some issues caused from heat stress are decreased feed intake, decreased growth, increased mortality rate, and weak skeletal structure. So, increase or decreased feed intake. The chickens um, will have a 16% lower feed intake when they're under stress and a 36 32.6 lower body weight. So because of their decreased feed intake, that'll decrease their um, body weight. There's a higher feed conversion ratio, which means that they have to, um, they convert feed at a higher ratio. Uh, stocking density is a major player in this. There has to be 0.7 square feet per bird. So in an average chicken house, there's about 28,700 birds in there and that's calculated by using 7.75 square feet per bird. Um, poultry producers in Florida found that 0 .9, 0 0.09 kilograms more feed was required in June and August, which are the hottest months in Florida. Um, so then it causes decreased performance. The animals are no longer able to uh, have depletion of breast muscle and increased thigh muscle, which are the most popular um, uh, cuts of meat. So consumers now are more looking into um, cut up products rather than a whole bird. Um, and this is bad because the breast meat is the meat that the producer gets the most money for. So a poultry producer would get more meat for higher breast meat yield than a thigh muscle yield. Breast meat is about 60 to 70 percent of the broiler's value. And in 2010, 50 percent of the broiler's meat exports were leg quarters, and that's from the USDA. Um, there's an increased mortality rate, which means that the animals are more likely to die if they get overheated. Uh, once the birds reach that heat stress, it's almost impossible to cool them down if they um, reach a certain level. So the way that producers kind of control this is temperature controlled buildings that keep the birds cool. So they have foggers, misters, and cool cells that keep the birds cool during the hot winter month or the summer months. Uh, they have large fans at each ends of the barns and this regulates the airflow so that it is constantly moving. This helps with disease and um, mold and all that other things. Um, this is the tunnel ventilation that pulls the air through um, through the cool cells and it cools the whole building. So humidity is another big problem. If the humidity in the barn gets to be too much, the litter can become wet and it causes ammonia problems. Um, so it kind of smells like it's molding. And so relative humidity needs to be around 60% in the barn. Um, another issue is a weak skeletal structure. The animals will get overheated and lose their energy. This means that they will um, most likely sit down and not be moving as much. So their bones are not moving as much, their muscles aren't moving as much, so they aren't um, as strong. The birds are increasing panting, wing elevated, trying to hold their wings out so that they get cooled off. Um, so their body is working overtime to keep cool and it's not converting that energy into performance so they're not getting as much pounds per um, bird. So uh, the lower level of circulating antibodies when the heat stress leads to a weaker immune system which then can cause disease for the birds and all kinds of problems. So some proof um, is acute from of acute heat stress 
And his seasonal changes have shown an effect on the meat quality. So that means drastic cold and then drastic um, heat as well. It causes undesirable meat characteristics, producing what can be commonly heard as pale, soft, exudative meat, which is PSE. Um, that's not very good meat. No one likes to eat that. Um, acute heat stress can happen during production, transportation, and pre-slaughter holding. Uh, it is possible that heat stress induced antemortem alteration in muscle membrane permeability and con concaminate changes in muscle metabolism in broilers may affect postmortem equality. So if they're stressed before slaughter, they will um, show that in their meat once they are slaughtered. Um, so exposure to heat, acute heat stress causes a reduction in breast muscle pH. So breast muscle pH is what um, determines if it's uh, got a good shear force or a bad shear force. So uh, shear force is how much force it takes to cut through the meat. Therefore, a lower shear force would be a more tender meat and a higher shear force would be a more tougher meat. Um, and then with this heat stress, flavor intensity was also lower. So it didn't taste as good to people. Um, some more proof, thermal regularity, capacity, and muscle membrane integrity. Um, chronic thermal stress, high or low, the higher low drastic temperatures, have been shown to show a detrimental effect upon production efficiency and mortality. Um, if the birds are too cold, they will not be able to move their muscles and become stiff. Um, things like that. If they're too hot, they'll not eat properly and focus on cooling themselves out. The smaller the bird, the better they're able to handle heat stress due to less feathers and a smaller body mass. Um, okay, so transportation is a big area where animals can get stressed, um, but it is essential in order for you as consumers to enjoy, enjoy your chicken nuggets. Um, transportation can affect the pH and meat quality. So drip loss, color measurement, pH measurement, thaw loss, and cook loss are all negatively affected by heat stress. So a normal pH in a bird is 5.91, and then when the bird is under heat stress, it increases to 5.98. So that's not good. Um, temperature can also affect meat color. Cooler birds will have a lighter color, um, and the hot birds will have a darker, more red breast meat, which is not as good of a quality. Um, for the meat. So, lower shear values means it's more tougher, or more tender. Higher shear value means it's tougher meat. Um, PSC, pale soft, exudate means is the tasting of the meat. 5.9% increases when heat stress, and we want Dane firm dry breast meat, which means that it's um, more tender, tastes better. And I have a video. So this is a video of the chickens being transported. They're transported in a truck like this, um, just in their cages that they're collected in. And this is where chickens can become very stressed. If it's very hot out going through the south, um, which is where most poultry production happens, the birds can become very hot because they're just in the sun. And they're kind of just really hot and really warm. So this is um, another place where they can be stressed and things like that. I have to click that one too. <coughs> Go down again. Perfect. Okay, so that was a little bit about transportation. Um, some solutions to solve this problem are nutritional strategies to reduce heat stress. Uh, a lot of things can be done with the animal's feed so that they do not, um, when they become stressed, they will still eat. Um, poultry meat has increased in popularity over the decade. 
Rate of increase is 5.7 per year. Um, so that's good. A lot of more people are more interested in chicken. It's supposed to be leaner. It's supposed to be um, less fat. And a lot of people are into that these days. Um, warmer regions, like I said, in the south is where most um, broilers are raised. Uh, Georgia, South Carolina, areas in there are where broilers are raised. So one solution is to raise the house temperature before a heat wave. So if you know that a heat wave is coming, uh, a one way to solution is for heat stress is to increase your um, temperature in your house. Make it a little bit cooler if they're anticipating a heat wave. Um, adding fat to the diet to increase energy um, in the diet for hotter regions. So when an animal is stressed, they'll burn more energy. So if you add more fat, it'll be better for the animal. Lower protein diets prove to be better than higher protein diets. If an animal has a lot of protein, they have to burn that protein off and it just becomes more stress for them when they're under already heat stress. Um, heat stress always depresses appetite. The use of a vitamin and electric-like pack in drinking water for three to five days during a heat wave. So during a heat wave, you can add actually vitamins and electrolytes to their water and that'll help them um, get back some of those vitamins and some electrolytes that they're not burning into their pounds, they're burning off trying to get cool. Um, vitamin C is one of the most uh, essential vitamins that you can give to the chickens. And the U.S. is the largest poultry producer. Um, so males are more affected than females um, just because males are broilers and females are most likely layers and they are in a cooler area already. Um, so if the drinking water is cooled in your house, you can cool the internal body temperature of the birds. So if you um, make sure that that is regulated and don't have like really hot drinking water, the birds will already be cooler. Um, high temperature with high humidity is worse than low temperature with low humidity. So high humi humidity and high temperature is more likely to increase mold and ammonia smell like I talked about earlier. Another solution would be to add chromium picolate, and that is a supplement that you can put during the feed, in, in the feed during heat stress, and that will um, increase the feed intake. The birds will um, like it better and they'll eat more, and then they'll convert that feed into pounds of performance instead of the energy to burn to be cooler. So in this study, they added um, chromium picolinate to some birds' diets, and then they didn't add to some others, just to have a control and things like that. So it was found that it did add the nutrients to the birds needed, especially the energy content. More worried about energy and having enough energy to convert to stay cool and to convert to pounds of performance. So when um, you added the chromium picolate, they were able to get that energy. Um, using this product would be beneficial because feed restriction is used. So um, on commercial boiler production farm, the producer does not actually own the birds. The company, for example, um, there's a farm in Georgia, Royston, Georgia, called RNC Farm. They raise broiler meats for a company called Marjack. Um, Marjack is a company that provides to fast food and um, some other food services that provide to schools and things like that. And they do not actually own the birds, they own the houses. The company owns the birds, so the company will bring in the chicks from a hatchery and the farm will have them for about six weeks until they are taken to slaughter. So the company controls the birds, which means the company controls the feed. So the company will only give you so much feed per each um, bird lifespan. So they um, control the feed. So feed restriction is used because of um, to keep broiler production economical. So if they didn't do that and you just kept feeding them and feeding them and feeding them, it would cost more for the consumers. So the companies do this to make it more economical, but using chromium picolate in your feed would help you because if you run out of feed, that could be a problem, but if you use this product, 
the birds are more likely to eat more and keep eating so you're not wasting any food or anything like that. Um, so then the birds that were supplemented with this product had a faster growth rate and a higher body, body weight, which is um, good because when they were under heat stress, it was shown that they had slower grow rate and a lower body weight. Um, but if you add more than 0.5 milligrams kilograms, it can be um, detrimental to the birds. It can actually have a reverse effect and cause them to have a lower um, growth rate and a lower body weight. So you want to make sure that you're adding the right amount to the feed, otherwise it can actually hurt the birds. And that is it.